first innovation only starts because somebody has an idea. And you often can't tell where the idea is going to come from. So there are a couple of lessons about innovation um, that I've learned through the years and that much research in addition to my own backs up. The first thing is if you want more successes in, at innovation, you need more failures, meaning you just need more ideas. It's the sheer volume of ideas that starts the process. And a culture of innovation allows thousands of ideas to surface, like a thousand flowers bloom. I find that also ironic because the man to whom let a thousand flowers bloom was attributed um, ran a very authoritarian regime. So I guess that's another one of, yeah, not that idea, not that idea, not that idea, but let a thousand flowers bloom. Well, you do have to let a thousand flowers bloom and they won't all live. And you have to be willing to go on to the next one, but let them surface. And it's also true that innovation comes from unexpected places, unexpected sources, often not where you're exactly looking and not where it's being ordered by the top. You know, in that era of stifling innovation, when the U.S. desperately needed to have its companies changed, I used to say, tongue in cheek, about participative management, that participation was what the top ordered the middle to do for the bottom. Well, the top can't order people to give them their best ideas. All it can do is create a receptive environment. Otherwise, you have situations which we have seen in which people work for a large organization, they find an opportunity, a flaw, a piece of technology, that large organization isn't going to do anything about it, so they spend their time in that company dreaming up their own business, writing their own business plan, and then they leave to start it. And that organization that had nurtured them never gets any of the benefit. That goes on all the time. Um, and it's not just that entrepreneurs would rather not be part of large organizations. In fact, large organizations, establishments, provide an awful lot of benefits to entrepreneurs. But the ideas have to surface. The ideas have to find a hearing. The ideas have to have somebody that wants to accept them.